over the cosine to the up to the n of x is uh, sine x over n minus 1 times the cosine to the no, no. N minus one of X plus N minus one. No, no, that can't be it. N minus two over N minus one to the integral. Damn it! I'd sell my soul to get this thing right! Two words, babe. Eternal damnation. We in business? <laughs> Did I say soul? Sorry. Slip of the tongue. Sorry to waste your time. You a busy man? I'm a busy man. We're both busy men. Let's go somewhere and find a place to be busy. It was just an idle comment, for God's sakes. You don't go after every poor jerk that makes a careless remark, do you? OK, maybe you do. Here's the back story, Sam. You don't mind if I call you Sam, do you? I mean, I think we're really connecting here in a positive way. And I'd like to cut through all that victim, demon, negative imaging. You know what I mean? OK. Here's the deal. All that mathematical lingo you were spouting, it's beautiful, man. It's like poetry. It brought tears to my eyes. Just happened to have the right phonetic structure to be a good old-fashioned demonic invocation. Especially with that neat little curse woven into it. Are we talking high concept or what? Yeah, well, you can just go back to whatever Stygian depths you came from, fella, because I have no intention, thank you, of selling my soul for the solution of any equation. Stygian depths. I like that. You mention Dante to most people these days, and they ask you how you liked gremlins. You got class. But no can do, babe. You see, we took an option on your soul the moment you summoned me. I'm just a sub-agent here to close the deal. It's all a formality. In other words, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. But that's not fair! Of course it's not fair. We're evil. Look it up. What is it with you guys and souls, anyway? I mean, what do you do with them all? Us, personally? Nothing. We're strictly a distribution company. We purchase them, process them, and after a reasonable markup, sell them to one of the big chains. Big chains? Right. Like, for instance, this one client, overlord of one of the outlying dimensions, he uses the souls to animate the bodies of undead maintenance workers. Man, he must go through two, three million a year. Him we give a bulk rate. OK, so much for opening rituals. Let's cut to the feature attraction. These are the rules. First, you get to ask me three questions about my juice. You follow me? Juice. As in power, abilities? Beautiful, Sam. You know, for creatures with the IQ of a flatworm, relatively speaking, you humans can be pretty clever. So anyway, after you ask me the three questions, you get to ask me one final question, any subject which I have to answer, or set me a task which I have to perform. If I fail to do so, your soul goes into turnaround, and you're a free man. Really? First question. Yes, really. No, no, I didn't mean to. Sam, Sam, Sam. We've been over this before. Evil, remember? Right, I keep forgetting. Oh, I should warn you, though. The last time anyone came up with a question I couldn't answer or a task I couldn't perform was... Uh... What year was the Peloponnesian War, anyway? 
first. I mean, second question. Are there any physical or temporal limitations to your abilities? Not a one, babe. I can go faster than the speed of light or make two electrons in an atom occupy the same quantum state as easily as you can blow your nose. I can do anything, go anywhere. And I have access to every bit of recorded information in the Omniverse. What a guy, huh? My next question affirms the corollary to the first. Poetry. Sheer poetry. I know just the buyer for you. There's this world where the dominant life forms are a race of living, sentient binary digits. You could be a decimal. In time, work your way up to a fraction. Is there any place in the universe, in all of being, where you could go and not be able to find your way back here? I hate to lay these negative vibes on you, Sam, but no. I could scoot over to the Andromeda galaxy and back in a microsecond faster if I don't stop for lunch. I could go to, say, what would be Berlin if the Nazis had won the war? Or 21st century Rome if Alexander had lived to a ripe old age? And I gotta confess, Sam, I had higher hopes for you. Trying to find a place I couldn't come back from. An old wheeze. Last time anybody tried it was back, oh, must have been 5th century BC. Didn't work then, won't work now. Now, finally, ask me. A question I can't answer or a task I can't perform? Not a question. A command. Lay it on me, babe. Get lost. No. 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 Another of our continuing tips on what to do if the devil shows up on your doorstep. Well, that guy wasn't any help at all. A public service announcement from the Twilight Zone.